I'm Chetty Narula and we're at JP Greens at Great Noida. Now, our IT sourcing companies have had to deal with a lot of uncertainties. This year, they would have to deal with a lot of economic uncertainties, industrialization, and a lot of other disruptors as well. Now, IT sourcing companies are also merging cloud alternatives with traditional outsourcing models as well. Discussing this and much more in detail is the CEO of NIT Technologies, Arvind Thakur, on Tea Time today with me. On the show this week, we have Arvind Thakur, CEO and Joint MD, NIIT Technologies. The essential learning was uh, not to put all your eggs in one basket. Spread yourselves across uh, you know, different areas, which is what we did uh, before, uh, during this period. And that's the reason why we <laughs> came out well. In news, Tiger Woods was the WGC Bridgestone Invitational by 7 strokes for his fifth victory of 2013. And Shev Kapoor tied 18th at the Finnish Challenge on the European Challenge Tour. Welcome to Tea Time. Thank you. Thank you so much. For somebody who just can't live without golf, tell me more about your passion for the game. I enjoy playing golf. It's a great social game and I think it enables you to meet many more people because you can play with people with unequal skills. Right. And also, of course, you told me it's a great leveler as well. You discussed that offline with me. Why, yes. is, why is golf such a great leveler? Well, because you are really competing with yourself and you are setting the bar higher. And I think every other player you play with is also setting the bar higher. Right. And uh, you have a good system of handicaps, which kind of levels everybody's game. And so I think it makes it a great level. How do you really make time from your busy schedule being a CEO of NIIT Technologies, an instant player, to coming, taking time out on the green, enjoying a game of golf? Because it's a long game. You know, if you have a passion for something, you got to take out the time for it. <clears throat> good thing about golf is uh, I don't kind of uh, cut into your work time and even in work time yeah. uh, when you're playing golf uh, you can do work as well that's right because you're always forever playing with like-minded CEOs and that's right so you play with your well. customers you play with other stakeholders so you can mix a uh, bit of pleasure with business as well okay now let's talk about the IT sector from a cost arbitrage model we're going through a lot of business transformation in the next decade to come how do you see the way business is transacted in the IT sector in the next decade to come. We have seen the industry grow from 100 million to 100 billion right. and that has really been on the value proposition which was around cost arbitrage. <coughs> now what we are seeing now is that customer expectations are changing and changing quite significantly. Where cost uh, is obviously important but that's not the only proposition. I think they are looking for business value. So the transformation that's happening in the industry as well as uh, in engagement with customers is to focus more on the output than on the input. Sure. Uh, so, so, so that's the transformation that we are undergoing as well. But on that note, it's time now for me to see you also continue our conversation. global economy, of course, remains uncertain, IT budgets remain flat. How does outsourcing action change for you and how does all of this influence your outsourcing actions at NIIT? We have done a couple of things. So number one, what we have done is we have kept our business across the globe fairly balanced. Uh, so we have equal distribution of revenues coming from, you know, Europe, US and Asia. So to some extent, you know, that helps in mitigating risk. Sure. So if one geography goes down, there are other geographies, you know, which support that. Similarly, we have... Very well leveraged across that geographies. Right, that's right. Similarly, the industry segments that we focus on, you know, travel, insurance, distribution, they also, uh, are, you know, widely spread. 
and more recently during the slowdown we started investing a lot in the government sector because right. that remains impervious to global ups and downs so in a sense uh, we need to mitigate these risks and keep our business balanced and that's the reason why if you look at our last three years cgr and that's about 30% so we came out very strong from this